Good evening everyone, it's CJ Peaceful again. Um, I've had a few emails uh, the past couple of days asking about uh, the change in my equation, namely uh, subtracting my belief of a magnetic field created during el electrolysis between uh, the anode and cathode, which you know, uh, a lot of people have said <coughs> uh, actually create the splitting of the water molecules. Um, I must admit that that sounded quite logical to me when I first got into uh, uh, HHO and and uh, doing some experiments. I thought, well, okay, if uh, a lot of people are saying it and uh, a lot of uh, pioneers, if you will, were, were uh, uh, quite emphatic about it, and believed wholeheartedly that, that there is one. I thought, well, who's, who's to question them? And I started thinking about it, and um, not to go into too much detail uh, as far as my personal background goes, but um, let's just say that uh, um, I really got to thinking hard about this, and uh, and so I did some more research. And uh, lo and behold, I could not find anything, um, a recent documents that suggested this very theory. Um, and the more I got into it, the more um, I started noticing other things, such as people were claiming that a, magne a strong magnetic field helps with um, a, a greater production of HHO gas. Um, the idea is that it uh, uh, the gas is 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 removed from the plates quickly, aided through the magnetic field. Because of course, you know, you got a, a positive and negative. You got a hydrogen, which has got a, a negative characteristic, and oxygen, which is a positive. And of course, you you have your magnet set right, whether it's a strong earth magnet or an electromagnet. You know, you can. It makes sense. You could possibly, you know, pull those atoms, if you will, away from the plates quicker. And, of course, that gives room for more production. Um, hey, I, I must admit, like I said at first, that made perfect sense to me. Um, but uh, I really got to thinking about this. And uh, one day at work, I thought, you know, this is, this, there's something about this is just kind of fishy. It doesn't, you know, I'm not so sure about this. Um, understanding some of the properties behind electrolysis, understanding more so the properties behind various metals. Um, I, I, I just really had a tough time really, really accepting that, that this was fact. And so I thought, well, let's, let's just do a few, a few little simple tests. Um, and what I've got here is, is just that, a very simple test. As a matter of fact, what I've got here is, I'm sure a lot of you have seen these in the store, so this is a part of a little uh, magnet set. I bought uh, one of my kids a few years ago. Um, some of these uh, will have uh, very powerful rare, rare earth magnets on the tips, and of course the cheaper knockoff ones will not. Um, these ones are not the uh, more expensive ones. These are not the, the, the name brand. I think Magnetics is what they're called. But these are, yes, I'm a cheap at time, I will admit, and, and these are the cheaper ones. But what I've got here is uh, I've got two of these magnets. Uh, one of them right now is sitting in a, in a, a glass of water, so I can zoom in here on this for you. And as you can see, um, if I uh, kind of stir it up a bit, kind of swish it around, uh, the magnet is going to want to point towards the magnetic north. Earth's magnetic field is is much much more stronger than I think most people realize. Uh, these are these are these are very very weak magnets. I would consider. Um, and to be able to just do this, uh, uh, and it flips around back to its original position. That's that's pretty impressive. Now I'll go ahead and zoom out here. The camera says I'm running out of time. Uh, it constantly points back to the to the north. All right, there we go. I was able to zoom out. 
Apologize for that again. Technical difficulties this evening, I see, are plaguing me. Here we go. Okay. Follow the magnet. Release it. And it goes back to true magnetic north. Let's go ahead and flip the switch, see what happens. The cell is active. I am producing gas. Uh, looks like at about 6 amps. And I got nothing. It did not move. Okay, let's try this one more time. So is on. Put my magnet here. It wants to follow the magnet. Let it go. Rotates back to true magnetic north. I can move it along the cell here. And we are getting nothing. that off. So is there a magnetic field present during electrolysis? If there is, it would take much more sophisticated equipment than what I have available to me to try and measure it. I want to read something to you real quick from closing. It's uh, Something I just pulled off the internet is uh, Merriam-Webster. It says that the ele electrolysis of water is the decomposition of water, H2O, into oxygen, O2, and hydrogen gas, H2, due to an electric current, or you can say amps, uh, being passed through the water. Again, no mention of molecular separation by a magnetic field. One last tidbit of information here I found. Um, Journal of Applied Physics had an article dated back in uh, March the 15th of 1984. Okay, 24 years ago. In summary, it says, The effects of a magnetic field on electrolyte motion and on the gases produced during electrolysis of water were recorded on motion picture film. Measurements of the volume of hydrogen gas collected show that a magnetic field reduced the amount collected during electrolysis of water and to a greater extent during chromium plating. A magnetic field also produced significant effects on the compactness of chromium deposits. Okay. Basically, they did a few little experiments. And in that article, one of the effects they noticed was the uh, potential for a magnetic field being applied against a cell during electrolysis. And they state, again, the measurements of the volume of hydrogen gas collected show that a magnetic field reduced the amount of collected during the electrolysis of water. Now, uh, that kind of makes sense to me because if you have a very, very strong magnet and it's very, very close to your electrolysis cell, uh, current is passed through it, the uh, chemical change happens, the hydrogen gas is naturally attracted to the negative uh, lead and the oxygen to the positive lead, and if you have the magnet set properly, I can see where you are actually going to hold those gases in position rather than releasing them. Uh, again, you can decide for yourself. Um, like I said before, I've had a lot of people ask me about my change in position and I felt the video was needed. Uh, maybe a little bit more explanation was needed, a little bit more insight.